how to grow on Instagram. So if you want to quickly learn how you're going to grow on Instagram, there's three main things that you're going to need to know. So first of all, you're going to make sure that your account is a professional account. Okay. If your account is not professional, nothing will, you know, actually grow for you. So make sure you have a professional account. Then secondly, you're going to want to upload mostly weekly. Okay. You, if you upload daily, that's a big standpoint, but I would definitely urge you to upload weekly, like at least three to four videos per week or three to four, you know, engaging pictures per week. Then make sure to sign up for the verification badge uh, because meta verification is pretty important as well. Once you do that, make sure to do a little marketing. Okay. You can do marketing through um, platforms like Shopify and uh, there's different social media marketing platforms as well. You can also try to pay people on Fiverr and LinkedIn to market for you to improve your SEO. And last and final thing is to sign up with the actual Meta Business Center, okay? So you're going to come to more, you're going to click on settings. And once you do that, you're going to make sure to go into your account center and make a professional Meta account and start campaigning over there because that will help you tons, okay? Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to unblock someone on Instagram. Let's launch the Instagram app. Then you want to click on the lower right corner where you see your profile picture. You click on it. Then you want to go and click on the three straight lines on the top right corner. Then you want to click on settings and privacy. Then you want to slowly scroll down to the section that will simply allow you to find the blocked accounts, which is who can see your content. The second to the last is blocked. As you can see, we have seven blocked accounts. We want to click on block section and we're going to unblock the first account over here, which is this one. Unblock this account. This is what actually going to happen. After I unblock this account, they essentially will be able to interact, to post. I will be able to see their content and everything will be as usual. The most important part is that when they got blocked and now when they're unblocked, they will not get notified for none of these actions, which it's something that I believe a lot of people are looking for. As you saw, the account is already unblocked and we can simply go ahead, find them, watch them and keep interacting with them. This is how easy you can unblock someone on Instagram. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to change, remove and replace a song on your Instagram post. First thing you want to do, let's launch the Instagram app. Then you want to head to the lower center of the screen and you want to hit the plus sign. Then you want to pick a picture that you want to upload, it's going to be this one. Let's pick up a song over here, clicking on the upper center of the screen, clicking on the note icon, okay. And then let's pick up a song. Let's do this one over here. Then you press done. The song is already with our post. Then press next. And right when we are at the last step over here before posting, let's say we want to replace the song. The song is not good, right? So we're going to scroll down. You're going to see our song appears over here. How are we going to change the song? First thing, we want to remove the song by simply clicking the X. Okay, now we want to add song by simply clicking add music. You do not have to go back. As you saw, you can do it from this particular page and you can reselect a brand new song over here. It's very simple. It's very easy. After you select your new song, all we got to do is to scroll down, finish with your setup, metadata, title, hashtags, description, location. You can tag people and then that's about it. You can also automatically post this on Facebook as well or on your other Instagram pages if you have some. And this is how you change, replace or add music to your Instagram post. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to schedule a post on Instagram. Very easy, very simple. Let's launch the Instagram app first. Then I want you to click on the lower right corner on your profile picture. Then click on the top right corner at the three straight lines. 
Now I want you to see there is a special section under this menu, it's called schedule content. If you click on it, this is where your content for publishing will be scheduled and will be stored. Guess what, we don't have anything scheduled right now. Let me show how you going to schedule a post. Click schedule now. So as you can see, we were forward to a brand new post. Let's select a piece of content that we want to upload. Let's select this one. You can also select multiple images or videos by simply clicking on the double square over here. Now let's move on. Now let's move on. And the last step right before usual post and click share, you have an option over here to click advanced settings. When you click on advanced settings, you will have an option over here to click on schedule these posts. When you click on this, you will have a special set of day time minutes and time of the day in which you want to schedule the posts right when you set all that you will be able as for example click done to schedule this post as you can see over here for saturday january 13th right at 4 50 pm this is very useful especially if you're traveling overseas and you have a lot of uh, your hours being from your own country so there should be a time difference and you want to make sure that the content is published at the right time when your followers are active. So you might be on the on the flight, on the plane, but your post will go live and everything will go as usual. And this is how you schedule a post on Instagram. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can grow fast on Instagram. Very easy, very simple, guys. Let's launch the Instagram app first. For example, you gotta go after your passion. You gotta go after particular niches and industries. What I'm even talking about. Well, guys, think about it. If you, for example, are into surfing, yeah, right? Let's say I'm, I wanna become uh, a very successful team page creator on the surfing and I'm gonna sell a lot of print on demand windsurfing shirts and hoodies and accessories and stuff right so I wanna do I wanna follow a lot of these people who are gaining a lot of traction then I wanna go over here on each and every post and you know follow the people who are commenting most likely all these people are surfers and as you can see over here everyone is commenting and talking about the windsurf no one is actually talking about anything else everyone is talking about the weather the surf the the wave right so you follow all these people and believe it or not 30 to 40 percent of these people will follow you back so first of all this is how you're gonna gain a lot of new followers the second thing that you will gonna do is essentially you want to go to the profile of the person and you want to make sure that you know they have a very consistent posting meaning that they are publishing every single day if they publish every single day you have a chance every single day to gain new followers and new inspiration essentially you can start reposting their content on your page on your story and essentially you can create a carousel post what i'm even saying guys so for example i can essentially go over here right we don't want to share reels let's go over her pictures Let's say we want to share a picture of something like this right you want to repost this picture and then you want to create a brand new post with carousel you click on the plus sign and let's say for example we want to put her picture and then we're gonna select the double square over here and we're gonna add three four different pictures with our products or we can add three four different pictures with with uh, let's say weather conditions about surfing something about surfing like a quotes about surfing uh, some overall you know generic images maybe you can you can get inspiration from Pinterest but you want to make sure that you include in one of these carousel pictures one of your products okay and this is how you gain traction this is how you create the first community of already engaged people people that are already interested they already want to buy they already are into this particular niche all you gotta do is to offer them the great product and to first of all gain their trust and this is how we can do both things that i just explained to you in a very simple manner for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more 
Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna share with you a lot of tips how you can grow on social media in 2024. Things have been changing dramatically since 2021, so now we have another update for 2024. The first tip that I'm gonna share with you guys is to choose your best type of content, what this even means. What is the type of content that you can create at the highest quality possible and so far you've seen the best results? Is it the pictures? Is it the videos? Is it simply a text post? So defining this simply will define your best way to get viral on the best platform. If you're a text-based creator, if you just uh, write a viral text content, probably Twitter and X will be the best platform for you or Medium. If you're creating amazing pictures, well, guess what? Instagram probably will be the best place for you to actually join and publish and post and create and grow. Because remember, all these platforms are simply related to monetization and number one source of monetization is always brand deals so if you're one of the best in the niche if you're one of the best on the platform uh, if you're in top 1000 right nobody talks about top 10 or number one but if you're in top 1000 you still have a very very high chance to get a brand deal sure you might relay on your own uh, digital products you might be selling uh, you know, transcripts, you might be selling stories, you might be selling digital books, you might be selling postcards, notebooks, you might be selling a physical product such as pants, t-shirts, hoodies, uh, you know, the variety of products you can sell on your own is unlimited. If you're very good in making videos, probably TikTok as the short form content and YouTube, if you're making a long videos, explanatory tutorial videos probably will be the best place for you. So after you defined what you're best at and when you choose the best platform to publish your best content, now is the time to build your own strategy. What I'm even saying. In this particular example, we are going to focus on Instagram because I believe there are a lot more people on Instagram at this point selling products. There are more people on TikTok making content, but I believe the more money are actually made here on Instagram. If you look, majority of the people are actually now focusing on reels, short term format, short format videos, which essentially gives you a very, very short lifespan. Meaning that if the video is not amazing, the next video is coming right around the corner, right? You don't have to wait for it. There is no ads in between. Nothing is interrupting you. It's not like the long format video on YouTube where in the middle of the video, you will have three, four, five different ads, which might actually distract you so over here you want to focus and follow people that are already working very well that are proved to be leaders that prove to have a very strong opinion that is appreciated from the audience you want to make sure that you understand why their opinion matters more than the opinion of other people in the brand or in the niche and you want to make sure you try to find a way how they actually make money I'm not saying that you should copy them. All I'm trying to say is that you need to understand what works and you need to understand this fast. As faster you do it, uh, the, the less time you should wait until you actually get monetized. Look what kind of brand deals these people have. For example, if I click on this guy, this is one of the best uh, windsurfing professionals, right? And if you look and if you scroll, and you know it's a pretty good engagement for this particular sport this is not F, uh, f1 right guys this is a much lower uh, range of you know viewership and much less uh, targeted place but if you look at what probably potential brand ship looks like right you might understand that hey you know the brands that they work with him and they offer him sponsorship might be interested to offer you something if you're into this industry if you have a similar vibe, similar audience. No one said that if the person that you try to, you know, get inspired from has 100,000 followers, uh, you should have 100,000 followers. Believe me, uh, in this area, I believe in Instagram, you can get the first brand deal in the range between five to 10,000 followers easily if your content is good and you have a good engagement. Good engagement, I'm speaking about at least 10% of your followers are always coming watching your videos or liking or interacting with the posts meaning on 5000 followers you need to see at least 500 views on every reels or 500 likes and comments or at least shares on each of the pictures that you're publishing 
And this is in short how you can actually grow and utilize the algorithm changes in 2024 to grow on social media, guys. It's not only Instagram, it's YouTube, it's TikTok, it's Twitter. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to increase the number of followers on Instagram naturally, organically. Very simple, very easy, guys. All you got to do is to follow the steps. Let's launch the Instagram app first. Let's say whatever niche you want to get into or you're already into, you want to make sure that you follow the right people, okay? You don't want to follow the average or mediocre, right? So, for example, if you're into windsurfing over here, right, you want to make sure that you're following the accounts that are generating the most of the interactions. For example, let's say I'm going to be following this account over here, Surf Magazine, right? You come over here, you look at the interactions, you look at the reels, they're getting 2.6 million, uh, hundreds of thousands of views on their reels so probably they're doing something right right so once when you follow somebody who is already doing very well on your niche all you gotta do is to not copying them but start interacting with their content what i'm even saying over here guys well let's scroll to the pictures that are pinned they're pinned because there is something about it right probably they're selling a product or they're having something that is doing extremely well if you can see over here, obviously this is a product. There is something like a poster that is ready for sale. Over here, there is a magazine, okay? So the pin posts in this particular case are not relevant simply because there is a product attached to it. But you wanna see what else actually works pretty well. If you can look, the only picture that they publish over here, it's this one. Everything else is only reels. So do you see where the first pro tip is coming to play? So obviously in this particular niche, in this particular industry, the videos are performing much better than images. So we already are one step ahead of the competition. We know exactly what type of content we should create. Second step over here, we want to make sure that we realize how to interact with their audience. So sure, you don't want to go and click and see their followers, right? You don't want to go and bother these people. They don't know who you are. But guess what? If you go on their post, for example, and you want to click on the comments and you want to start interacting with people over here, this is the only real organic way to gain their interest to come up back to your profile, probably follow you, probably watch your videos. And this is how you build the trust, build the first representation of generating and increasing the followers organically. Why? Well, simply because you all guys are interested in the same topic, in the same business, in the same ideas, you all hyped or passionate about the same things. So the, well, the only way that you could actually show them that you also create content, that you also, you know, sell products or making videos is to simply message under the content of other people who are already generating a lot of leads and having a lot of interactions. This is the pro tip over here, guys. Uh, forget about follow for follow. Forget about you know buying followers. This is the organic way to generate people, real actual people, not bots, who will be coming every single day to your profile, watching your videos, and potentially buying your products or services. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use tags on your Instagram posts. Very easy, guys. Very simple. Let's launch the Instagram app first. So for our case over here, we are going to create a brand new post. How are we gonna go about it? Well, let's click on the plus sign in the lower center. Well, over here, let's pick what we really wanna upload. For example, let's say we wanna upload this picture over here. You wanna click next, then you wanna click next. Right over here, we wanna include all of the captions, the titles, the description, Everything, guys, is usual. Don't forget, with the new updates of Instagram algorithm, tags are not actually necessary. I have plenty of new videos that I just released in the last couple of days showing you case examples in which people are going viral. Even people who are running promotional content are not putting hashtags anymore. It almost feels like that the algorithm doesn't want hashtags. But that's just my opinion over here, guys. When you finish with all this editing, include over here the tag function. Do you see the tag function is actually the first one underneath? So in this particular example, we do have Google, right? We have Google search. So if I click on it, 
in the middle of the screen and look for Google, right? For example, this is where Google appears. When you select the account that we want to tag on our content, the tag will appear on the picture. Then you can move the tag wherever you like, right? In our case, we're going to put it right here. Underneath, you will see the list of different tags that are appearing on the content. For example, if we want to add another tag, for example, I have to click again on the picture. And in this case, let's put Samsung, right? So because we have another tag, we can move it around the same way. Now we have two tags and you see the list grew to two different tags. Let's say, for example, we tag the wrong account, how we are going to remove the tag from the content. All we got to do is to click on the X sign next to the actual tag in the list underneath. See X, X. Very simple, very easy, guys. When you finish with adding the tags, just press done. Then you press share and everything will be ready to be published. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add multiple images as a slideshow on your Instagram story. Let's jump right into the Instagram app. Let's create a brand new Instagram story. Let's click on the top left corner and hit the plus sign. Now, the pro tip over here to be able to select multiple images or videos is very simple. All you gotta do is to click on the top right corner where you see the select. You wanna see this white background highlighted. So in our example over here, guys, we are going to select two images. We're going to select this one and we're going to select this one over here. Then we click the arrow to proceed with. And as you can see over here, we can add individually. We can essentially, first of all, you can create an additional scene that is coming out of the actual text. Of course, this is a pro feature. As you can see, things could get a little more complicated over here. I'm just giving you an idea. Yes. Easiest part, of course, you can just add someone. For example, we can essentially tag, let's say, Volkswagen. Why is it Volkswagen? Because it's over here. It's on the actual commercial, right? Then you can click on the other image on the lower left. You just click and switch from one image to another. When you're done, all you gotta do is to click on the arrow. And as usual, guys, you can post your story for close friends only, or you can post your story for the public. As well, you can send it to your friend as a message, or simply you can send it to a friend's story. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more.